Hey, what's up everyone? This is Rakesh from motionstreet.com and welcome back to a brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, we'll be taking a look on how we can create a repeated pattern background using only some shapes or text and that too without using any third party plugins at all. These kind of animations are super duper easy to create and it also looks super cool and elegant. So let's take a look on the preview. The patterns that you just saw is nothing but just a repetition of a layer and by the end of the tutorial I am pretty much sure that you will be able to create your own pattern backgrounds. So without any further ado, let's quickly roll the intro and jump into the After Effects. So here we are back again in After Effects now let's start by creating a new composition and we will call it as our render comp and let's keep the dimension as 1920 by 1080 which is full HD with 30 FPS and 10 seconds long with the background color as complete black now hit OK and we will again create a new composition so go to the composition click on new composition or either you can press ctrl or command and if you are using Mac uh, so click on it and then we will call this as our pattern because this will contain our structure right so now uh, for this composition i'm gonna uh, uh, keep the dimension to around 400 by 400 right so that means it's a square composition and then keep the setting same as before and hit ok and before we proceed further with this animation, let me tell you that if you want to follow along with this tutorial, the entire project file is available to download from the link in the description. So make sure to check it out. Now we will select the rectangle tool and we'll try to make a perfect square by holding Ctrl and Shift at the same time. And then we will snap this anchor point right into the center of our square. So what you can do is hold Ctrl on, on, on your keyboard and then double click on this pan behind tool and it will automatically snap into the center. Now let's align this square into the center of our composition and then hit R to see the rotational property and then let's rotate it by minus 45 degree. Now we are simply going to animate the stroke. So first of all let's make the resolution at full. Now first click on this uh, arrow to close the rotation and then click on the same arrow again. Go to the add and we will add a trim path. Now open the trim paths one. First of all, we will increase the start amount to 50% and then we will use the offset to animate the stroke something like this as you can see in the preview panel, right? So now keep the value to zero at the very beginning. So make sure to stay at the very start of your timeline and then drop a keyframe on the offset and then go to around 10 seconds or so and we want this to complete at least one rotation and the next value I want to go with 355. So now if you take a look on the animation, it would look something like this, which is pretty simple to create, right? Now, it's time to duplicate the layer. So simply select the layer, go to the edit, click on duplicate, or you can either use a shortcut, which is control or command D if you're using Mac. So click on it and it will create a copy. Now open the second layer, open the contents rectangle one, and we will turn on the reverse path direction right then select both of them hit s and we will scale this down to 90 percent or so and select the first layer and drag it something like this and the second layer something like this to the right now let's play the animation and see what we have got so far and yes i think it is much better now and this is the thing we were actually going for so what we can do one thing else as well that if you take a closer look you will notice that we have a little space right onto the top of the squares right so we can of course get rid of 
what you can do is we can go to the composition open the composition settings or you can use a shortcut which is control or command k if you're using mac now we will just simply decrease the height just the touch like so and i think 360 should work yep our pattern composition is now ready and we are all set to achieve the final result now let's quickly jump back to the render composition and we will drag in our pattern composition into the timeline and the first thing we will do is to make this layer a 3d layer just by clicking on this little box right here and if you don't see any of these icons in your timeline then make sure to click on this toggle switches modes which will make it again visible in your timeline so now make it 3d layer and then we will apply an effect which is called okay i don't have the effects tab right here so i can go to the window and make sure your effects and presets is checked right now we will search in for effect which is called cc repetile and then drag this effect onto the top of the layer and for the amount of right left up and down we will set the amount to 2500 for this one as well 2500 for this one and for this one as well right now let's go to the tiling and you will see a lot of options available here and you can of course go with any of these options you want but for the sake of this tutorial i will go with turn cw and we will blend, blend the borders all the way to 100% right now select the layer hit S and let's scale this down to around 60% yeah and now hit again R on your keyboard to see the pro rotation properties and we will rotate it along the X axis something just like this to make it feel like it's a floor or a kind of surface right now I think we need to tweak the settings of CC Reptile in order to cover this black area by our layer. So we can just double this number. So 2500 multiplied by 2 that will become 5000. So 5000 this one as well. 5000 this one and this one. Now hit enter. Now hit P on your keyboard to bring up the position and let's move this down just a little bit something like this and then the only thing remaining is to rotate the patterns right so simply select the layer hit r on your keyboard go to the very beginning of your timeline drop a keyframe on the z rotation and go all the way to the 10 seconds and we will rotate this just by 45 degree right so now if you see the preview your animation would look something like this which is actually looking pretty fantastic right and this is the only thing we were actually going for so now let's quickly attach a background to this so now right click anywhere in this area go to the new and we will add a solid and let's call this bg and for the color we have a hex code which is 230242 and hit ok now just bring this just below the layer and you see now it is looking more attractive and here the animation is now complete and we just saw the entire process of how these patterns are made and now i guess you can create your own custom backgrounds using line shapes text or icons or whatever you want there is no limit of creativity inside of after effects so yeah that's it for today guys i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and if you really did then make sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you never miss any creative upcoming tutorial and if you're searching a template for your project then you can visit our website and download the template that suits you the best lastly don't forget to follow me as motion street on instagram and i'll see you in the next video till then keep dreaming keep creating peace out